Geno dago, delba mas in jupithos nibilo jaimas, frusan as jalio nam zingo. Un seras islandisco, fajawisco, aug niuciudisco friondins, skurun zankian zaihit lingto isti. Io talo nuk brukan zi nam zingo. Ak, ziudisco nu habai zi tuai anzero nam zingo. Vocative, aug instrumental. In short, a name case is a change in the word's ending depending on the grammatical function within this sentence. This will lead to a changing the meaning of that word. The example I will show you with these English pronouns will give you an idea of the mental gymnastic you've got to use to comprehend what name cases are about. The first person singular pronoun in English is I. But you never say, come and play with I. You say, come and play with me. The offspring song does not go like I I Listen to this clip and tell me what you think I I Nominative Ek, ik or eka Here you can see the connection to Latin ego Thu in second person Nominative personal pronouns are often unnecessary because the subject will be guessed by conjugating the verb. A correct sentence would be Chai tai Theodorix. If you say Ek chai tai Theodorix, you put a self-centered emphasis. Likewise, Spanish speakers barely ever say Yo me llamo. Ek evolved into modern English I. Ik in Dutch, Low German and West Frisian. Ich, ich or ish in High German. Ik in Gothic and Vandalic, Ek in Old Norse, Jech in Icelandic, E in Faroese, Jai in Norwegian Bokmal and in Danish, Jok in Swedish, and Ich in Elvdalian. Thu gave descendants in all of the modern Germanic languages except for Standard Dutch. It gave the English pronoun thou, which is only used when quoting Shakespeare or when reading the Bible. Both English you and Dutch ye descend from yous, which originally was a plural pronoun. Yous gave other descendants in modern languages, including German ihr, Frisian jim, Danish i. This form also exists in Norwegian and Swedish, but seemed to not be used as much in regular speech. It also gave Gothic jus. All of these pronouns are plural, making Dutch and English the exceptions. It's now time for a personal anecdote. I used to work as a healthcare worker in Altkir, southern Alsace. The phrase we learned to ask the Alsacian-speaking elderly people if they were having pain was Han er V. As I have unfortunately never got to learn to speak proper Alsacian, maybe one of you can tell me in the comments if the pronoun er is a plural pronoun or not, or a plural pronoun to address people in a polite way. Because I'm pretty sure that this er would also descend from Proto-Germanic plural pronoun use. Genitive Min or minas Thin or thinas The genitive is used to indicate possession or relationship between the subject and the object. This case is still used today in modern English. My father's beard, the apostrophe s part, is a remnant of the genitive case. This sentence in Proto-Germanic would be Bardas fathers minas you see that this sentence features two words in the genitive case, my and father. The beard is the subject. You will notice the need for a genitive case more easily when twisting the sentence like this. The beard of the father of I. Accusative. Mek or meek. Thek or thik. This form will be used whenever I is the direct object of a verb. You are seeing me would be sech was I mek. Accusative will also be used when indicating a movement towards something. Quem tamek, come to me. Dative, mis or misa, these or theza. The dative has two main roles in Theodisco, indirect objects and locative. The indirect object of a person or pronoun is used when an object in a sentence is not the target of an action. The only exception here would be when the object undergoes motion towards something, then it triggers the accusative. A locative is when the object's position is being related to the subject, typically when you use the preposition on or under. 
it is quite rare to use a dative form in personal pronouns. But an example would be, I have a sickness in me. Habio suchti in mis. The instrumental case uses the same pronouns as the dative. The instrumental case is used to indicate means or manner and often goes with the preposition midi, with. Quem midi mis, come with me. Dual pronouns express actions or states involving exactly two individuals. First person dual, wet, wit, means you and I. Imagine a scald addressing the people standing next to the tribe leader. If he says, Drochtin, wet vuch tu samanagagin walgans, it will mean, Lord, you and I fought together against the Romans. But if he says, Drochtin, wees vuch tu samanagagin walgans, Lord, we all fought together against the Romans. Second person duo, Jut, means you too. Now imagine the tribe leader addressing two of his warriors. Jut fucht is his in Valachans. You too fought together against the Romans. With time, the usage of dual pronouns had diminished. Gothic, Old Norse and Old English still used them, whereas Old Dutch and Old High German had already dropped its usage by the time they started writing books. Today, none of the Germanic languages feature a dual system. Historical linguists have a really hard time reconstructing third-person pronouns in Theodisco because all descendant languages have followed different rules for them. Please feel free to pause the video and see for yourself. What we do know is that just like Latin, third-person pronouns stem from demonstrative pronouns gis and sa, this and that. Apparently, when ancient people were talking about someone else, they would use that with the declension specifying if it's a dude, a gal, or a thing. So basically, instead of he, they said that dude. Whenever you want to use a pronoun to refer to an object or an animal, you have to remember that any noun has got a specific gender which determines the inflection table the demonstrative pronoun will use, regardless of the actual gender of the animal it refers to. Wulfas is a masculine noun. So if talking about a wolf, you will use a masculine pronoun, even if you don't know what gender the wolf has. This entire video could have been just this table, but I hope my explanations helped you to figure out which pronoun to use in order to start to build your own sentences. Please try to construct a small one in the comment section.